Fox 11 News is next. Tonight, a landmark decision in a long and emotional battle as jurors deliver a whopping legal blow to the tobacco industry. Caught on tape, tourists scramble for cover as armed robbers stage a daring heist on the Las Vegas Strip. A driver critically hurt will show you what it took to free him after his van slammed into a building. And the right idea at the wrong time. What caused this ship to sink ahead of schedule? You're seconds away now from Fox 11 News at 10. The Southland's number one choice for news. Fox 11 News at 10. The day of reckoning was delayed in coming and they, and they should just take it. A jury hands down a record-shattering verdict against Big Tobacco, awarding $145 billion in damages. Good evening, I'm Christine Devine. And I'm John Beard. It is the biggest jury damage award ever. The class action lawsuit that took two years in the courtroom needed only five hours in the jury room. And today, the landmark decision. Christina Gonzalez here with the tales. Christina. Christine, John, it is no surprise the jury in Florida returned asking for damages. But the amount is staggering, so much so that Judge Robert K. even chuckled, saying, there's a lot of zeros there. Jurors entering the courtroom. The jury took less than five hours to decide on punitive damages against tobacco companies. Philip Morris Incorporated, $73,960,000,000. The amounts are huge. Philip Morris, $73.96 billion. R.J. Reynolds, $36.28 billion. Brown and Williamson, $17.59 billion. And it goes on for a total of almost $145 billion. The round of hugs in the courtroom was followed by statements from the plaintiff's attorneys. This was never only about money. This was, this was about showing these companies up for what they really are. The tobacco companies plan to appeal. If there ever comes a day that this judgment does become final, I can truly predict and tell you that every one of these five companies will be out of business. Frank Amodeo is one of three Florida smokers chosen to represent all plaintiffs during the trial. He was diagnosed with throat cancer in the 80s. I think it sends a message. 40 or 50 years of what they've been doing. To me, hundreds of thousands of other people like me. I'm lucky. I'm, I'm still alive. Now, how likely is it that the tobacco companies will actually pay out all that money? Unlikely, say several experts, at least for years. First, there's the appeals process, and then the Florida court system, where it could take years to decide on the amount for each of those plaintiffs' cases. There's something like over 700,000 of them, John. Mm. All right, Christina, thanks. Another big verdict today. A jury in Waco, Texas, says the U.S. government is not responsible for the deaths of 80 Branch Davidians. Surviving Davidians and family members filed a $675 million wrongful death lawsuit claiming the government was to blame for dozens of deaths in the fiery end to the 1993 siege. The federal judge will take the jury's findings into consideration and render a final verdict as early as next month. Police are calling it a brazen attack. Two men rob a Las Vegas casino. The entire ordeal caught on surveillance tape. It happened at Treasure Island on Wednesday night. One second, everything's fine. The next second, chaos. People diving under tables and running for cover. We heard everybody start running and everybody started getting on the ground. And we were, you know, just in a panic. We didn't know what was happening. Two gunmen came charging in. They jumped over the casino's main cashier cage and started pulling money out of a drawer. On the left, you can see a cashier terrorized, crouching on the floor. Seconds later, after the robbers collected all the cash they could carry, they jumped back over the counter and took off. It's kind of scary. You know, there was people crying. A lot of late women in there were crying, and uh, I guess it scared them. The two robbers are accused of assaulting a security guard and a cashier. They escaped with an unknown amount of cash. The day after two deadly crashes in the Antelope Valley, another major accident. A small bus overturned in Lancaster after colliding with a Cadillac this afternoon. A dozen mentally disabled adults riding in the bus and two people in the car were hurt. All but one of the injuries are minor. Another freak accident, this one in Huntington Beach, leaves a man trapped in his van after it slams into an office building. Bernard Gonzalez has the rescue. A frantic but cautious race against time. Rescuers trying to save a man trapped in this van that crashed into a building in Huntington Beach. Miguel Vieira was inside having a cup of coffee just a few feet from where the van hit. I thought it was an earthquake. And then I came out this way and I saw him already sticking in the house right there. A middle-aged man stuck behind the wheel pinned in the wreckage. Getting to him wasn't going to be easy. 
in order for rescuers to get the victim out of this van, they actually had to tow it away from the building because it was embedded into the side of the wall, locking the doors shut. The tow truck moved gingerly to pull the car away from the unstable building, all the while the victim barely clinging to life. He had major trauma all the way throughout uh, the, the front of his body as well as uh, uh, legs. He had a partial right amputation of the ankle, major uh, fractures to both legs as well as trapped. Even before emergency workers got there, Good the Samaritan Michael Cook had done his best to help. Wasn't breathing, wasn't moving. It took about two minutes, then he started breathing on his own. I saw the blood coming from his neck wasn't that bad, so just held his neck. Finally, firefighters freed the man from the wreckage. He was taken by life flight to UCI Medical Center in critical condition. In Huntington Beach, Bernard Gonzalez, Fox 11 News. Quite a scare for some elementary students in Simi Valley. About 100 kids had to be evacuated from Pinecrest School because of a chlorine cloud near a campus pool. Three dozen students were sickened by the vapor and had to be rushed to the hospitals. Worried parents feared the worst. I was just working out of the gym in my lunch period. My wife called me frantic. So I got in their car and drove as far as I could and then ran the rest of the way here. His little girl, along with all the children, are fine tonight. Authorities say the noxious vapor was created when workers mistakenly mixed chlorine and pool acid. An innocent boy caught in the line of fire. An alleged gang shooting ends with the La Puente boy in the hospital. But Joyce reports. A little boy airlifted to the hospital with a gunshot wound. Ten-year-old Johnny Romo wasn't thinking about danger when he stepped outside Thursday night and was hit by a stray bullet. He just heard some noise and took a look. Then when I get out to, to shake him, I just saw him, you know, inside. He's screaming and said, they hit me, they hit me, they hit me. And I, when I touched him, I saw the blood. Six shots fired in all by a passenger in a late model Honda. The intended victim, possibly someone in another Honda driving the opposite way. We're getting a hold of our gang units to see if there's any information they may have on the vehicle descriptions or anything of that nature. One bullet went through Johnny's elbow, entered his lower back, and exited his body, miraculously missing all vital organs. I spoke with Johnny while he was in the hospital. He said he was and, uh, bothered by the tube up his nose. What else can you tell me about what's happening to you? Nothing, I'm just being in the bed. Okay. All right, so they tell me you're going to be okay, and how do you feel? Fine. Detectives will be canvassing the neighborhood, talking to witnesses to see if they can get any more information on who did the shooting. Because in the words of one lieutenant, any time an innocent child is involved, it affects everyone in law enforcement. Any time a child's involved, it pulls at the heartstrings, and uh, you, you, tend to, you tend to just maybe have a little more energy to push. In La Puente. Linda Joyce, Fox 11 News. She was key to a top secret World War II operation. Today, 80-year-old Marthe Kahn was awarded the Médaille Militaire by the French consul for helping liberate France. During the war, Kahn went behind enemy lines to relay vital messages. We are hoping and we are going to fight to the death. And that is the information I, uh, I was able to get to my unit. Khan says she never told anyone about what she did because she didn't think they'd believe her. She joins the ranks of several French generals and Winston Churchill, who also received this medal for outstanding military service. Wow. Cruisers beware. A new law has gone into effect in West Hollywood, making cruising illegal. So here's how it's going so far, especially along the uh, Sunset Strip. We're going to check in with Ed Laskos, who's live in West Hollywood, to bring us up to date. Ed. And John, Christine, well, it's Friday night, full moon. You know what that means. Now, you're right. The, the strip is jumping. Let's take a quick look around with Bill, our photographer. You've got the Rainbow Bar and Grill. They have a show tonight, so there's been a big crowd over there. The Roxy is jumping as well. And on the street, some other folks, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, that is the first traffic control point here on the strip. What are they doing? Well, they're very busy marking up cars, marking the license plates on the cars. They enter them into the computer as part of the cruising ordinance. And then they keep an eye on the cars as they go through here. And if you're caught going through a Second time within a two to four hour period, that's where they hit you with a fine. I want to introduce you to Lieutenant Ken Lefter. Lieutenant, come on in here. Uh, we're talking about fines tonight. If you're going through running the same checkpoint second time in about two to four hours, what kind of money are you looking at? First, uh, first one is a hundred dollar fine. The second is two hundred, and the third is five hundred. Okay, and obviously the point is, in the evenings, the strip can get very tight, very congested. You want to cut down on a lot of the the, the the intersections being jammed by the traffic. Well, it's not only that. It's uh, we have you know. 
the, the whole Sunset Strip is a mecca of entertainment. The people that would legitimately like to come here and utilize the clubs and the restaurants, they, they can't get here. There are people that live above the Sunset Strip that uh, uh, have very expensive homes. They can't get home. And also, I noticed you've got some cars already pulled over on the side here of Sunset. At this point, uh, obviously, we aren't doing any of the cruising uh, citations as yet. These are vehicle code violations. Probably most of these uh, have to do with uh, no front license plates or something. And of course, the bottom line, too, is if you have some emergency personnel, emergency rescue vehicles you've got to get through here, you don't want it tied up with traffic. Yeah, this, uh, it's a very good point. This it becomes so congested that uh, ambulances and, and uh, fire trucks, uh, they, you can't navigate the strip at all. Okay, Lieutenant, thanks for stopping by. Have a safe night. Take care. So there it is. A lot of folks finding out the hard way about the new ordinance, and if they're caught cruising, it's going to cost them a couple of hundred bucks. For now, we're live. Sunset Strip, West Hollywood. I'm Ed Laskos. Christine, John. All right. Pricey. Thanks, Ed. Well, it was supposed to sink, but it wasn't supposed to sink yet. Plans for a spectacular show were scuttled when a doomed warship goes to its watery grave. Plus, surveillance video leads to the arrest of two airline workers. You won't believe what they were stealing. Stop! Anyone move? She's dead! I'll kill her! And a frightening ordeal, but it's only a test. We'll show you how security forces are preparing for the Summer Olympics. Good evening, I'm Mark Thompson. We're live at the Ford LA Street Race. Bruce Griggs, give it a crank, my friend! Oh! Felt like we're ready to ride! Just one of the things going around on the Southland weekend. We'll fill you in next. Fox 11 News is brought to you by your Southern California Ford dealers. see yourself as others see you. I didn't know it was so gray. Gray, gray, gray. Now escape that old gray look with new Just For Men. More than a hair color, it's a rejuvenator. Just For Men shampoos away gray in five easy minutes and now has vitamins. It brings back a thicker, healthier look that's completely natural. I like what I see. Just For Men. More than a hair color, it's the rejuvenator. This has been the coolest summer ever. We went to Universal Studios Hollywood. First, we saw the new Rugrats Magic Show, where Angelica did the most awesome tricks. Then we went to the new Mummy's Tomb and totally freaked out. Then we laughed at the new Nutty Professor sound effects show. Then we battled futuristic robots in Terminator 2 3D and went to the all-new City Walk. It rocks. I can't believe we did all that in just one day. Now extended through August 13th, all Southern California adults get in at the kids' price. Universal Studios Hollywood, the world's largest movie studio and theme park. There's something cool happening in El Pollo Loco, because when you buy an 8- or 12-piece meal, you can get a beach bucket filled with 64 ounces of Coca-Cola for just 99 cents. The El Pollo Loco Beach Bucket. It's cool fun for the whole family. Have you seen the best comedy of the summer? Time, Newsweek, Entertainment Weekly, and People Magazine have all discovered The Kid. Roger Ebert and the movies give it two thumbs up. How's many of you? Bruce Willis, Disney's The Kid. Rated PG, now playing. Two Florida airline workers are behind bars tonight thanks to this surveillance video. Investigators say the tape shows two Sky Chef employees stealing alcohol off of planes at the Miami airport. Then they stash the stuff in their homes. 800 bottles. That's about $100,000 worth of booze. Police say the two suspects would then, of course, sell the liquor. Everything was ship shape for a sinking party at Mission Beach tomorrow, but now the party's off. Earthman David Garcia shows us the spirits of the partiers aren't the only thing that sank. Talk about a bummer. In the dead of night, the Yukon suddenly starts taking on water. You sunk my battleship, says the banner, as the ship goes to its watery grave. It had already been towed outside San Diego Harbor for a big buck scuttling ceremony. The 366-foot destroyer, retired from the Canadian Navy, chosen to be an artificial reef. It's good for the environment, it's good for the community, it's good for the economy, and it's exciting. In fact, while this may look like a gorgeous reef full of life, it's actually a sunken ship, one of several in the area known as Wreck Alley, a diver's paradise. There's a, a, a mystique about wrecks. Uh, 
it's, it's, it reaches in and grabs the very soul of a diver. Just how good it is for the environment is another question. Should we be adding more wreckage to what's already there? Too late for the Yukon, too early for the big sinking party. And even though by accident, the ship went down exactly where it was supposed to. I'm David Garcia, Fox 11 News. A hoax by Glendale man on the Howard Stern show has backfired. Police in Hawthorne want Stern to give them copies of a show in which a caller from California claims to have killed dozens of cats. They're interested because of recent cat mutilations in their city. Now the caller says it was all just a very bad joke. I'm definitely not encouraging people to do this. And I'm not um, a cat killer and I'm not p telling people to go out and actually do this. This is just entertainment. You know, some people think what I do is completely sick. Harry Barbarian says the controversy has probably cost him a job. He was a freelance producer for The Stern Show. He has been keeping L.A. safe and solving Southland homicides since 1971. Today, the LAPD said goodbye to retiring detective John Mungia. Still have pending, but my a lot has changed since the first time he wore his LAPD badge. Officers now have walkie-talkies, computers, and a lot of statistics. I think we're getting bogged down with too much paperwork right now and nowadays, and it doesn't afford you the time to get out there and really do some good investigations because of all the paperwork involved. And there was more paperwork for Mungia today, his last day on the job. Then he had to turn in his badge. It will later be returned to him with a retirement banner. Big birthday bash today for pioneer anchorman George Putnam. The broadcasting legend celebrated his 86th birthday with a live broadcast of his radio show from the Museum of Television and Radio. This day also marks exactly 66 days of broadcasting for Putnam, who reported and anchored for many years here at KTTV. Former presidential candidate Elizabeth Dole is in Los Angeles, campaigning for George Bush and trying to attract more Latinos to the Republican Party. Dole spoke to the Southwest Voter Registration Project, promising big changes to the INS if Bush is elected president. He wants to change the climate of the INS, divide it, separate it into an enforcement arm and then into an immigration arm that will welcome new immigrants, welcome new Americans. <laughs> Since ending her own campaign, Dole is on the short list of candidates for vice president. Mark Thompson out and about tonight on this Friday night having some fun. Mark? The L.A. street race. Now, there are so many events in NASCAR. Bill Burke, how many events are there? 2,400 NASCAR events a year. But the L.A. street race has... It's the only street race in America that NASCAR runs. I mean, it really seems remarkable, and it's really something. They've got uh, much of downtown L.A. sort of blocked off, although it's interesting you do it in such a way that you've blocked off a minimal amount of the city. Well, actually, Figaro is the only major street that we have blocked off, so it, oh, and I... it's only for one block. So we really did it uh, as well as we could. Yeah. Now, uh, tell me, you guys get cranked up early tomorrow morning, I know. Racing as you see starts... the you can oh. see the crews working through the Let night. Let me tell here. you, racing starts uh, 7.30 tomorrow morning, runs all day till 3.30. St gates open at 8 a.m. on Sunday. It's the NASCAR finals. Going to be a lot of bumping and grinding. I saw one of these beautiful Porsches turn over, flip over today, and rip it apart. You need to talk to some of these drivers. You're so happy. It's so happy. Don't you feel good when he talks about a Porsche flipping over? And uh, it's got now. Is it's Robert Stefanski? Is it Robert Stefanowicz? Stefanowicz. I was called. Now, Robert, you've only you're a new driver, but you get what is your track record? Tell everyone your track record. Uh, so far for the year, uh, our unsponsored number 67 Porsche is. Uh, Nine wins and two second place finishes. Uh, we uh, hope to win here as well. Good luck. Nice Thank to you. talk to you. Quickly, some weather. I must tell you that the weekend will be fabulous. In fact, as you look at today, you can see we began the warm-up we spoke of. 82 degrees downtown. 90s were present today. Riverside hit 95, 93 at Northridge. We will suffer in the way of air quality tomorrow inland. That's that building ridge of high pressure that will force the valleys into a health advisory situation. And look at the thunderstorms that crop up from Yosemite to Vegas, back into the Palm Springs area, and even in Big Bear. Because of tropical moisture moving into those areas, there will be thunderstorm development this weekend. And temperatures up, up, up. Readings should hit the 90s, well into the 90s inland. And the five-day outlook, the warming really will peak tomorrow, but it'll still be plenty warm Sunday and uh, will cool a bit for the first of the week. That's it. The L.A. Street Race starts at 7.30 tomorrow morning. Should be a lot of fun. Have a great weekend, whatever you decide to do. So you right. can do that. Thank that you. does sound like fun. Thanks a lot, Mark. They could be the most important team at the Summer Olympic Games. Stay down! Stay down! 
They won't be going for the gold, but we'll show you how security forces are preparing for the worst, if it should ever happen, in Sydney. And we'll give you a look at the competition that had students at a local university scrambling. I'm Randy Cardoon. Jerry West is uh, still with the Lakers, I believe. And the Sparks take it to three-time WNBA champion Houston tonight. Uh-oh, this is not a good sign. The Dodgers' $105 million man leaving tonight's game with an injury. The way that you walk. It's just the way that you talk. Like it ain't no thing. Need a little cash for the weekend? Here tonight's playing lottery numbers. Fantasy 5 combination 6-7. 18, 30, and 34. The Daily Three combination is 5, 3, and 5. And the Daily Derby winners, first place, number 10, Solid Gold. Second place, number 9, Winning Spirit. Third place, number 3, Hot Shot. Race time, 142, 13. You are your foe, your friend. You are the paparazzi. You are the track. Moe the Halos. Sheffield and the Dodgers. Fox Saturday Baseball. Saturday at 1 on Fox 11. Need a vacation? This year, make it Springfield. Unique accommodations, terrific nightlife, and food you'll remember for days. Check out the sights, press your luck at the slot, or visit a beach where you're on your own. <laughs> Want to know more? This is a rather shameless promotion. Watch The Simpsons, weeknights on Fox 11. Double amnesia. Andy. Uh-uh. The Domino's heat wave bag. So, too sick to make deliveries, huh? For really hot delivered pizza. 170. That's hot. Domino's. That, Andy. Good pizza. Call Domino's now and get two medium, two topping pizzas for only $12.99. Made fresh and delivered hot in the Domino's heat wave bag. Two medium, two topping pizzas for just $12.99. Is that kid stacking total in the dairy case? That he is, sir. Son, the cereal aisle is over there. Yeah, but now this is where total deserves to be. It's the only food with 100% of the daily value of calcium. Give me a hand. 100% calcium, huh? That's like down in three glasses of milk at once. Ooh. We gotta talk. You bet. Hey, are you getting enough calcium? Because most adults aren't. Total, now with 100% calcium. Attention shoppers, total is now in the dairy case. Nothing is better than the freedom. Every Hyundai comes with the freedom of America's best warranty plan. So for the next 10 years, instead of worrying about your car, worry about other things, like the SPF of your sunscreen. The Sonata from Hyundai. Nothing is better. Nothing's better. Hurry in and get the Sonata with 0.9% APR financing now. Fox 11 Weather, brought to you by Hyundai, where driving is believing. Anyone talk? Anyone move? She's dead! I'll kill her! She Frighteningly real simulation of an airplane hijacking in Sydney, Australia. With the Olympic Games set to begin in September, organizers are preparing for the worst. Security chiefs have spent the last two years conducting anti-terrorist training exercises like this one. Preparing for the September Games is the largest security operation carried out in Australian peacetime history. Boy, that sure looks real, doesn't it? Yeah, it Boy, does. Sheesh. Well, nothing on that scale, but Randy says the local teams are having troubles of their own. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit, just when you thought everything was safe. What is a Dodger and Angel fan's worst nightmare that has nothing to do with Dennis Rodman? How about having a key player or two walk off the field with a key injury? It happened tonight for both teams. Well, at least baseball's hit leader Darren Erstad had a pretty good night. Seventh inning here, Angels down 3-2, but not for long. He rips one deep to right, and it put the Angels up 4-3. Well, then in the eighth inning, big trouble. You see right here, Kevin Brown is leaving the game due to a strained muscle in his shoulder. Day-to-day -day there. Garrett Anderson also came up injured, irritating his right shin. Ooh. Angels win 5-3. to three. While Jerry West isn't commenting on his retirement rumors, I, for one, take them pretty seriously. West and I co-hosted a charity run at Staples back in January, and at that race he told me he was going to leave the Lakers at the end of the season. When I asked him how sure he was about it, he said, not sure enough for me to put it on the air, but pretty sure. It's been a pretty high-stress career for the Lakers vice president. Two years ago, he talked about that stress during a news conference. His words still apply today, words he said then, even with another world championship. I just want to disappear. You know, to be candid with you, I don't want to be interviewed anymore. Um, I don't want to sign any more autographs. I just want to get away. 
and um, it's something I think I need. You can sense it in his voice. No official comment from the Lakers. West, meanwhile, said he's going fishing in Alaska. And you thought Around the World in 80 Days was just a movie, a really old movie? You know how much I love classic cars. Well, take a look at the only American car entered in this race, a 1949 Buick Woody Wagon. The race follows Marco Polo's route across Europe and Asia. I'm not sure which is more amazing, that old cars survived this race or that this 49 Buick survived this race. Wow. All right, the Sparks beat Houston tonight, and they trail the Comets by just one game. Don't forget Dodgers and Angels right here on Fox 11 tomorrow at 1 p.m., followed by Fox Extra Innings. All right. Boy, you can't lose there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Randy. You. Southland students in a messy experiment. Oh! oh I prefer no paper. Hey, Skip, no, this is no college prank. We'll tell you about the competition that had eggs dropping on a local campus. This summer, get an ordinary vehicle and do ordinary things. Or get a Jeep vehicle and do extraordinary things, thanks to the Jeep Summer Clearance. Now at your California Jeep dealer, you can get an outstanding lease on a two-wheel drive Grand Cherokee Laredo. Just $2.99 a month for exceptional power and capability if you're a returning Daimler Chrysler lessee with preferred credit. Make this summer your best one yet. Hurry to the Jeep Summer Clearance. It's anything but ordinary at your Southern California Jeep dealer. Who else? And I'm sure you're going to like the change I've made. Oh, uh, here we go. So, here's a layout I had in mind. Let's get some light, yeah? You come in here, right away we're into the product. Need a better workspace? Everything to run a business from home at the IKEA Work at Home event. Dear sir or madman? Madam. Recycling bins and everything it takes to succeed at the IKEA Work at Home event. The following is for extreme audiences only. Do not attempt this at home. Go directly to nuts. Knott's Extreme Summer Blast. SoCal Kids, always $14 at Knott's. And now at Rouse with your club card. A family of four can save up to $68. Bob Kurtz isn't worried about his bills because Bob has combined his phone and internet services with Pacific Bell and now saves money. This allows Bob to worry about other things. You know, we probably should get new drink coasters in this room. Introducing simple solutions. Combine stuff, save money. You know what I mean. Fox 11 Sports Report brought to you by Pacific Bell Simple Solutions. Pacific Bell, a member of the SBC Global Network. Some future scientists got a little egg on their faces and the sidewalk during a competition at Cal State Northridge. Take a look. See, the challenge is to drop a raw egg off a four-story building without its breaking. It's all about packaging. Students use straws, popsicle sticks, lots of ingenuity. Look at the contraptions they came up with. Most of them did not work, but there were a few that survived intact. Do you hear the kids? Oh! I <laughs> know, that's so much fun. I like that. <laughs> that's it for Fox 11 News at 10. Be sure, though, to stay tuned now for a Fox 11 News special, Treasures of the American West. Now for Christine Devine, Mark Thompson, and Randy Cardoon. I'm John Beard. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.